I just wanted to talk more about why I love the command line and automating processes so much. Um, I have all these backup files, MBZs. This is what the Moodle learning ma management system makes. It makes these MBZ files, which aren't a format that anything recognizes. And what they actually are is their uh, .tar, .gz files. So that's a, a compressed, that's the gz part, gzip. Um, bundle of files. That's the TAR part. It um, stands for tape archives. So TAR is just a way of packaging a bunch of files together into one file. And gzip is just a way of compressing them. Um, but you can't use the normal command to unzip, gunzip, g unzip, um, on these MBZ files because gunzip complains, hey, I don't understand that suffix. I don't know what an MBZ is. So Basically, I have all these things. I can't really unpack them easily, um, not using Finder, not using my operating system GUI, not using command line tools uh, that are available already. But I can pretty easily just iterate over them. And what I got to do is I want to um, rename the file uh, to something that I can unzip, make a directory for it where I'm going to unzip it into, and then unzip it into that directory is the goal. Um, so let's see if we can do that. It's going to be something like this for file in ls star mbz. Um, so that's going to iterate just over the file names. Um, and then this first step uh, renames the file. But there are a couple steps in there. So that first step being the mv move command um, that renames them. But let's also just like we'll make a directory. We'll name that directory after the file. Um, what I can also do here, there's a little bit fancy, but let's just also um, rename them uh, to not have this like MBZ and, and date on the end, um, maybe. So we could do said. So um, we can use said. So I'm like, I'm making a directory, but I'm going to um, turn this file variable, the string of text with the dot mbz and the date and everything into just the um, just the uh, ID and section code is what I want. So first of all, I'm going to get rid of backup on the front. And then next, I'm going to get rid of um, the date underscore 2020.03.25.mbz. All right. Um, I guess that's enough for now. Like we can, I can iterate over the stuff later to do the extract um, step. Just reading slowly through this to make sure that it seems like it'll work. This is a said um, substitute command. That's what the S is for. And I'm substituting those strings with the empty string. So with it's the same thing as deleting, right? Um, yeah, this seems like it'll work. Okay, so now let's look at what this looks like. Okay, um, so we have all our renamed files that are actually tar jz files, and we have a folder for each thing which we're going to extract into. Um, I'm using a fish uh, shell, um, which I really like, uh, and you've already kind of seen some some nice features of it and how easy it was for me to write this loop. This would have been like a little bit more verbose in bash, which is the probably the most common shell. Um, but another nice thing you can do is you can just write functions right in the shell really easily. So I'm going to write a function named extract. Um, so it's going to accept a file name like this MBZ tar GZ thing. So um, let's say set file to the first argument to the function. Then we're going to tar xv. xvf. Um, I don't know why Zoom just decided to stop screen sharing there. That was fun. 
Um, okay, so looking at this, does it look right? Tar XVF, extract it into this folder that should already exist. Um, really, we could have done all the steps here in this in this function rather than doing a loop and then doing this, but this looks good to me. Um, and then uh, to end the function, we're going to end. And, okay, so now we have like a, a function, right? And um, we can just like, we can just test it out on one of these, right? Like, let's look at this extract, this thing. Why didn't that work? Oh, um, so see here in my extract function, I, I didn't get rid of the dot tar .zg. I just got rid of dot mbz. So we can we can redefine it again. Um, so dot tar dot gz. Let's see if that works. Try again. That seems to be working. Um, so this is just showing me that it's extracting all that stuff. And let's look again. Um, so there's our thing, but let's look for one eight nine. So this this last folder should have a bunch of contents, and indeed it does. That's the thing unpacked. So we know that our extract thing works. So then we can just do extract start at um, gz. So this will um, run on all the the folders in here, and I think it'll work. I don't know. We'll find out. No, that was way too quick. It only ran on the first one, I can tell. Um, so let's like, like, what happens if we look at this second to last directory? It's empty, okay. So instead we'll do um, this style thing. I don't know why that didn't work. This happened to me before. If anyone knows, I'd be curious. But uh, we'll, just, we'll just iterate over all the files and run extract on each one. So it's similar to the loop we did at the beginning, do an 